Good evening. Welcome to the Wanren Film Screening event. I'm Zhang Biyu. After a whole year of fantastic screenings, we are ending the Understanding Taiwan through film and documentaries series with this special event. It's a three-day uh, 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 big, uh, big shot. We can um, see the film today we are showing tonight is Super Citizen Co. Chao Ji Da Guo Ming. We are extremely honored to have Director Wan Ren with us at SOAS tonight. And now, please put your hands together and give a warm welcome to Director Wan Ren. Please <laughs> is going to give you some words of the school about our London studio. Uh, do you want to come here? Okay, I come yes. here. Uh, thank you for coming. Uh, this is my first, the sec second time in uh, London, uh, England. The last time is uh, 1987. <laughs> <laughs> so this, uh, that's a long time. That, that, I remember that time I have uh, one film called uh, Favor the Channel to the, uh, the London Film Festival. Mm -hmm. So this is my second time. And today I'm very uh, great and honored to present my film. This film is made in the, uh, I think it's uh, 1995, that's 80 years ago. I was very uh, easy for me to remember this because uh, that's uh, one year before my son, my only son, Henry, was born. Oh. He, he is here. He's here. And, uh, he, how old you are. <laughs> <laughs> and the one thing important is that you haven't seen this film before. So that's <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, I, I have not seen the film. Uh, this film, I think, that the best quality of the everything in, in you know nowadays because I haven't presented, I haven't uh, the DVD, you know. So this is the best quality, so you can find that in there. So it's a great to you you be able to see this film. And uh, after seeing the film, I I you know, Q and A. I would like to answer all kind of questions. So now enjoy the film. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. When a director Wan Ren uh, agreed to come to SOAS, we were very excited. Mm -hmm. It is not just because he's a major uh, a figure in Taiwan's cinema, also internationally. It is also because he's one of the most influential new wave directors. So in the Q&A later, you can really ask uh, plenty of questions, um, and especially his uh, way of uh, perceiving how he presents his film. But before we start the screening, I do like to introduce you um, about him as a filmmaker. Um, as some of you know, Taiwan's new wave cinema emerged in the early 1980s when Taiwan's film industry was at its lowest point. In order to introduce new blood into the rigid and stagnant uh, local film industry, the KMT run uh, Central Motion Picture Corporation, the CMPC, uh, recruited seven unknown and very young filmmakers to make uh, produce two poor mental films. One is In Our Time, Guang Yin the Gu in 1982, and the second one is His Son's Big Doll, that's Er Zidao, Er Zidao 1983. These two watershed films uh, heralded the birth of Taiwanese new cinema, and also the rise of a new generation of uh, directors, that including Wan Ren, uh, Edward Young, uh, Hou Xiaoxian, Zhen Zhuangxiang, and all these people. So Wan Ren's debut, uh, The Taste of Apples, Ping uh, Guo was one of the three short films in His Son's Big Doll. This film is based on Huang Chunming's novel, and that satirized um, the American imperialist influence in post-war Taiwan, and also deal with the, uh, um, the industrializations. Uh, the, the strong social concerns and his humanistic approach in this first film have set the tone for all of his uh, other films uh, later on. Throughout his career, he has preferred to make topical films and insisted on socially relevant topics. Therefore, Wan Ren's works have always been politically sensitive and socially aware. 
his humanistic approach and sensitivity towards social ills is similar to other uh, new wave directors, but very unusual, I think, although you probably won't see in the, um, all these films uh, we are showing in this series, is his, uh, he's very considerate about women's role and also deal with the, um, this kind of um, con contesting uh, um, role as a traditional women and your responsibilities and the modern aspiration to fulfill your uh, self-fulfillment and, and to work. So tonight's film is his most famous work, Super Citizen Co, released in 1995. This is the second of the Super uh, Citizen trilogy. And of course, it's the most successful and famous one. The film is his own reflection on the 228 incident and the white terror and challenges how history is remembered and whose story is told. Tomorrow night, Dr. Sylvia Lin is going to focus on this particular film and I really wish you will come back and discuss with her and, and listen to what she said about this particular film and also talking about White Terror and 228. On Wednesday night, again, we will start early, 6.30, don't come 7, that will be, uh, you will miss the first interesting film because that film is a, a satire, although it's 11 minutes long, it's very funny. I saw it, so it is funny. <laughs> okay, um, that was um, his recent trailer, a new film uh, called It Takes Two to Tango. And this particular film, uh, sorry, this trailer was actually the version he showed to the mainland investors because it's dealing with the uh, uh, con very interesting, complicated across stray relations. So finally, Director Wan Ren would like me to specify that uh, what you are seeing tonight, this particular version, is a very special one. Not only is it a director's cut, but also it's uh, a version that he recently uh, 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 compiled and he's going to, I think, release the DVD because it's never been released in the past. So it's a very special version and you're the first one to see it. Okay. And we will talk about uh, tomorrow, um, Wednesday's film um, tomorrow, I think. Mm -hmm. So before we start the film, as usual, sorry, hold your horses, uh, Nikki. On behalf of the uh, Center of Taiwan Studies, we would like to express our thanks to the support that we have always received from the Ministry of Culture. Yeah. Yang Xiaojie, okay. <laughs> and the generous donation. Uh, from Dr. Samuel Ying. Mm -hmm. Without this support, we would not have been able to put on this series of events. So now, without further ado, let's start the film. Thank you. We just take a few questions, and, and, and Director One can, can answer your questions. Sorry, let me break. This. Anyone? Okay. Sure. Ian first and uh, Ming Ye second. Uh, maybe we take Ian's first then Ming Ye. Okay. Uh, this is a fantastic film. Yes. I've not seen it before. I try and see it again. Oh. See it again, I'm sure. Um, I think it's a film uh, about many, many things. Mm -hmm. There's a film there about integrity and identity. There's a film there about inner rage and memory and about getting old. What I'm very interested in this, in this film is how you selected and supervised your score. You know, a large part of this film, over half, has no score. You just use the atmospherics, and you let, you know, you've got the graveyard scene, for instance, where for the first half there's no music, and you, have, you just let nature take over. You can hear a very mild nature. There's no birds put in or anything. You don't artificially drum it up. And then you put the music in in more reflective parts. So it's a very taxing film. I just wondered, um, presumably you were completely in control of the music. How did you select the music? And what made you use it at some moments and at other moments have almost no music at all? Well, in fact, no music. I mean, did you regard the score as very important to the film? OK. Of course. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, of course, uh, Dr. Inkson, 
，基本上是说你的片子非常的有趣，非常的呃呃感人，但是他注意到你的呃曲。用音乐的部分特别有意思，呃，他尤其是在讲那那一幕，在寻找呃陈振一的呃坟墓的时候，呃，其中有一些场景，刚开始的时候是完全没有音乐，只有呃背景的声音，呃，很多交通的跟那个风的声音，但是后来在最呃高潮，可以说那一个场景的最高潮的时候，你开始使用音乐。那是只是一个例子。那他的意思说，你其实呃，在你的电影中很多都没有没有呃对白。那么使用音乐的呃原则是什么？可不可以谈一下？呃，我啊啊啊啊，这个那个，我我其我想最好进翠水，对我应该用啊、呃，先用中文讲哈，再帮你。OK， 好。呃 ，first of all， 呃呃不，一开始哈 ，this film is nominated by the、uh, Golden Horse in。First of all, in Taiwan, uh, it's nominated for the best pictures, uh, best director scripts, uh, music, and uh, actors, and so so. But eventually, I uh, got the uh, best actor and uh, best music. So the music, so, 电影，我觉得音乐在我的电影里面一直是占很重要的地位啊，因为电影是属于 emotional 的啊。Okay, uh, this film, I've got a.、Uh, uh, a few, uh, well, quite a lot of uh, awards from, uh, for example, like Golden Horse Award uh, for music as well as uh, the best actors. And for him, it's very important. Music play or sound play a quite important uh, role in this filmmaking. And because he felt that's uh, something quite emotional. Okay. Uh, 讲一个很重要的地方是，我刚才这是一个 very sad movies， 但但是我刚才听到有人很多地方在笑，啊，原因是这个片子，因为我在之前拍过一个 Super Citizen， 是讲台北市的一些用讽刺性的喜剧片，反讽一个都市从农业社会到工业社会到现代社会的边缘人，都市边缘人的发生的一些呃讽刺的喜剧片。OK， 嗯、um, ，for example， 嗯、um,。Although it is a, it's really a tragedy, but every now and then you can hear people's laughing. Not ha 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 laughing, but you know, sometimes quite funny. Um, um, for him, uh, uh, it is not a clear cut between a tragedy and comedy. For example, before this, the first uh, 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 Super Citizen uh, set, uh, a trilogy was a Super Citizen. Uh, that, that's a 超级公民 and uh, that's, 市民，市民，市长 ，sorry， 超级市民 ，and that was a, a proper satire and、uh, it was quite ironic and sometimes、uh, his film examined the, the, the transformation from the、uh, agricultural society to industrialization and, and he's especially uh, uh, focusing on this kind of marginalized、uh, figures and characters and you can see in his film, you know, you can see quite a lot of this kind of uh, marginalized people. So uh, originally, this, this film should be a super citizen code, it should be a comedy film, a traditional comedy film. So you didn't think that the original is like that. You said the original concept. Okay. The original idea was uh, actually this film was originally should be a, a satire, a comedy, a black comedy. But, 所以我我我认为批评一个地方的政治，当然，电政治电影最后两种，我最喜欢是东欧国家的那种政治片的的片子，他们往往用喜剧反讽去去批判他。嗯嗯嗯嗯。嗯 ，you you you understand what he's saying? Be, because a politically critical, sometimes it's the best tool is actually comedy. So using a satire to to mock, uh, it's the very effective. And he was saying he likes East European uh, 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 satire mostly because it's so funnily uh, 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 sad or sadly funny. Mm. <laughs> Tragic uh, comedy. Yeah. Tragic comedy. Uh, Black uh, comedy. We're now 60 years old. We've gone through. Actually, we've gone through the Marshall Law era. It's hard to imagine. 我们小的时候，父母都告诉我们，年轻小孩子只有耳朵没有嘴巴，不能讲政治。Okay, 
um, in his 60s, uh, um, probably for many of you uh, young people, wouldn't even imagine how it was like uh, when, you know, when not just the 60s, like 50s people also went through martial law and, uh, um, and his parents' generation always told him and warned him not to use his mouth, only use your ears. Always listen. So, we can Okay. It is absurd um, most of the time if you look at what, what happened during the uh, white terror period. And uh, actually, if, if you look at politics across the, uh, the world, uh, quite a lot of uh, absurdity is actually the same. Um, can, 我们可不可以让那个 Dr. Mingye just also ask questions? Okay. Okay. Um, thank you very much for the film. So two questions. Where's the inspiration for this uh, script? Mm -hmm. and, and where did the investments come from? You mean... You, you oh, okay. So sorry, but I, I have to answer your questions, too, but generally, yes. 我简简单的讲好了因为我开始其实尤其是在一个恐怖之后的一个政治台湾变成是不但大家讲得很厉害有没有而且很就是对他最是讲政治了到现在为止你们会对不对第二个就是你像我们戏里面这个女儿的先生
uh, storyline, he was the one always wearing the uh, uh, earphone and, and dare not to talk about politics to his uh, uh, grandson. If he wants to talk anything seriously or honestly, he had to move towards Gaudian's Pylon. Pylon. Or some, something like that. So can interrupt his uh, 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 some sort of transmission, <laughs> transmission <laughs> or some sort of a. Uh, uh, <laughs> 所以簡單因為時間有限我簡單的講所以但是我做了很多research以後加加上很多非常多research以後我覺得不是這樣我還是恐怖但我覺得應該把這段時間描述出來說我開始花了一年的時間把基本整個改掉 OK, so it actually uh, changed the storyline after research and uh, uh, um, after a whole year's research so actually it is uh, uh, a labor of love because he realized that how important this topic is. It's not just about a mocking of the current, but also a, a remembrance of the past. And we have two questions. I have to say, because we do not want to waste our reception outside, yeah. so make it quick, but we can still take more questions. Is that all right? Sorry. I'll just say, um, I'll, I'll speak in English. Yes. I, um, 25 years ago, Daffa and I watched the Chinese film um, Lei Yu, Lei, Lei Yu. Oh, okay. by the director Sun Daolin, um, um, from the 1960s. A very, very sad, tragic film. And um, in the 1990s, um, it was shown for the first time in the um, Shang Kai-shek Memorial Hall, the Zhongzheng Jingyan Tang. And um, when people came on stage, um, the, the Taiwanese audience burst into laughter and I was shocked because this film had been so serious yeah. and suddenly it was a comedy mm -hmm. um, and I remember wondering why this was and I asked my teacher at Taida and she said oh perhaps it's the language the yeah. language is out of date from the 1930s yeah. um, but I also so I wondered um, because your film was made, what, in 1995, mm -hmm. so that's already 20 years ago. Is there anything you would change if you, if you were to make it today? No, 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 not, not at all. <laughs> okay, uh, hold on. Can we ask another question, then we, you can answer all together. Uh, uh, okay. okay, yeah. 我想先謝謝導演因為這部片給我很多的啟發我自己就是這最重要的第三代那事實上你來自台灣嗎台灣那謝謝導演給我很多啟發事實上我們我跟我的朋友們我們兩個禮拜之後要回台灣拍婚紗了那我會去六張禮拍那就是希望希望告訴這些還現在還在那邊六張有去過好幾次沒有那麼多阻止也
during this transformation, there's never uh, a, a process of um, a punishment or a, a justifying. No. Anyone can say anything justice. about this? Transitional justice. justice. Yeah, yeah, transitional justice. Transitional uh, justice about this. Because it's tra a peaceful transformation, that means uh, there's no uh, formal process of uh, actually dealing with the victim's uh, 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 suffering and also to punish the, all these uh, persecutors. So, uh, so I started to think that the thought of the law is to want to these political victims. 他一直最后加破人王，他一直要找到一个让他加破人王这一个人，最后原谅他，forgive。嗯哼，and of course, and you know, he want to trace back. So what sort of um, uh, persecutor? Um, sorry. What what's how can you trace back to the person who actually uh imposed this kind of uh um injustice? Um, but it is quite difficult to uh, trace back to the original person. So that particular scene of two old men sitting face to face to each other, uh, going through a glass of wine, and this kind of re redemption. And that's what he wanted to deal with. Uh, this no, no, not redemption. My point is that I started with this basic 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 Okay, so he traced back to this person who actually uh, imposed this, you know, uh, to him, and give him forgiveness. There's a, a, there's a process of it. But it's a stereotype, right? It's a stereotype. I think it's not good Okay. But he said that was original storyline, but he felt that's not, it's too stereotyping and it is not uh, actually um, profound. So what he wanted to do, something better than that. The, another year. Oh, the <laughs> <laughs> another year. So, 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 就像日本人一樣,他對很多事情,他在抗戰的時候,那一段時,二次大戰,他沒有真正覺得sorry。Sorry很難,寫一個sorry很難。It is very difficult for, uh, uh, for anyone to say sorry sincerely, and really felt, deep, deeply felt uh, uh, apology. It is not something that uh, easily you can give. Uh, 在中中華民國裡面有一條憲法叫做刑法一百條,非常重要。There's uh, a very important uh, 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 criminal law in 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 RC criminal law, the uh, Article 100. 就是說你意圖用武力,意圖推翻政府,為所所一定死刑,一定槍斃。Whoever yeah. want to subvert the the government will be uh, 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 the leader, that's why Chen Zhenyi was uh, the one eventually more, more complicated. Then,就是更更深的是说，常常被抓到的人以后，因为你看到那个人跑掉了，所以大家都说那个人是leader。啊，OK。所以他跑回来以后，发现。Okay, the whole story is because of that particular article. And when one person escaped, or at least uh, in this case, and everyone will say, everyone else will say, oh, that's the leader. So once he's caught, and uh, he, he will be uh, considered as the leader, and he will be uh, put um, you know, to death. 所以我覺得用這個方法讓這個男主角最後他是feel guilty 一生中,所以用這個東西,所以一種我所謂說sorry就是redemption的那個什麼救贖,救贖,我覺得這是可能最容易感動的,感動受害者,其實我很少講這個事,我希望能夠感動加害者,所以就sorry。OK,你知道意
So for him, the most important part of this film is not just uh, for Kosa to say sorry to his friend, but also he wanted to touch the persecutors who actually uh, imprisoned everyone and, and tortured them. The, he wished to touch them and want them to say sorry and felt their guilt. So Okay. It's the real case, uh, and when when you saw this particular uh, a scenery, a scene that he was walking on the beach mm -hmm. and sitting on the um, on the beach and looking out, that's a real case um, in Taiwan. Thirty-four years ago. Thirty-four。Thirty-four。Thirty-four。Thirty-four。Thirty-four。Thirty-four。Thirty-four。Thirty-four。Thirty-four。Thirty-four。Thirty-four。Thirty-four。Thirty-four。Thirty-four。Th
So after over a decade that, you know, coming back and talk about this for the first time, it is uh, very difficult. Yeah. 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 Uh, director Warren's wife, and um, so he did ask his son, you know, does, does she look like it? Yeah.是啊，我意思说，其实呃，应该应该应该这么，我刚刚要回答这位先生的那个问题，就是说我们怎么样去，因为这个电影最难的地方就是我们可以更很sentimental，可以更touch，更更更更描写更那个，但是我
。就是人，也、yeah, 人生是这样，不是不是 desert， 就是说应该是讲我我的感触。你说的是他真正 real， 对真正的。Oh my god. Oh, okay. So by the end of this filmmaking process, actually he had a stroke, so he couldn't move and he couldn't、uh, speak. speak. So. Compared to you know, is a he's in the film. There's a lot of dialogue. Yes. You know, the always and walking.、Mm. Yeah. At the beginning, so you know, it's、mm -hmm. sort of not destiny, no, but you know, not that it's meaning. Sort of like he perform his、uh, task <laughs> and then fulfill his task. Ah, that's 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 a life, yeah. Last act. Oh God. Really? Last act. Really. That. Ah, I want to answer that question. Is to say, I can still because. 现在看起来，其实它还是一个 artist film， 那是我们所谓的艺术片、嗯嗯，不是很通俗的大众电影。嗯，就这个片子。Okay, it it is considered as art film. It is not something commercial. Of course. 呃，这个电影假如没有音乐的话，可能对很多人来讲更是漏，更更多人。<笑> If there's no music, it might be a little bit boring. Not a little bit, a lot. Of <laughs> But I find it very powerful. Yeah. But, but I asked my son, "Is it a little slow?" He thought the tempo is too slow. Yeah, he's a little bit. Yeah, he's proud. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Pace-wise, and he said,、oh, only a little bit. So I think, but the point is not about the boring. I think music in a person's mind is a kind of, not to say to the audience, but to the audience, it's a kind of, how to say, a kind of, a kind of feeling. So it's important to play music in this way. So music is so important and play such a, a crucial role, especially in this film. It's not just to heal your wounded heart, but also I think、um, he thinks it's a kind of catharsis that you know really wash all out all the pain and the suffering.、Yes. Redemption, 就是赎罪，其实也是如此，就是把人性最怎么样的东西，可以最最严重的罪恶的什么，都可以用这个来来清洗。我想这是用什么？用音乐？不是的，那个赎罪啊，赎罪。Uh huh. Okay. So this kind is a kind of re redemption. 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 But um, I don't know why it's no, no, music. No, no, not no, not、uh, nothing to do with music. Nothing to do with music. So I, that the the whole film is the theme. Okay. So it 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 is really about redemption, and I think. The music, why this? It actually is a very Western feeling. When I was talking about music, I felt it was a kind of redemption. 所以你听了这个音乐，你会觉得很多的人，我不知道，就是西方的宗教的音乐的感觉。嗯。It's like you can interject. Uh, uh, it seems to me, just watching this film,、uh, that the the the, the non-musical part of the film is the film where the action is overpowering, or what's happening is is overpowering, and you leave、uh, the natural sound. To dominate, and then immediately following, almost in a rhythm, there's almost like a scanning rhythm.、Um, when the audience is meant to be reflecting and absorbing what's happening, then the music comes in and carries carries it through. And I find that very, very, very effective indeed.、Mm. Very impressive. So, so it's not a question; it's a kind of comment. Well, yes, there's also that part of it. Okay. Yes, yes. He said, "No music." He said, "I was more interested." Not. Usually, in performing the ah, not the film, the film itself, if there is a story, then it's less music. Then the ah, using natural sound and natural background, ah, ah, so you can see the environment, the environment, the environment. Then the next one. 当这个呃不是发很多剧情发生的时候，是在自己思维的时候，音乐跑出来，然后这是好像是人在思考或是或是回醒思一样，所以他说他认为这个这样的呃呃像有韵律式的呃呃呃使用音乐非常有意思。对，其实这个我觉得在 professional 里，其实这个东西 tech 会比别的片子更多的时间做 editing。
，原因是在就是你讲的怎怎么样是 arrangement 做这个 arrangement， 尤尤其音乐跟剧情。我记得好像你说是在日本做的。不准，那是他跟你不一样，不重要。重要是说在 editing 上面。Okay, he spent really long time on editing and the music, and it's almost equally important as the visual. So it, it, you are definitely right that the pick up the uh, sound side of the uh, film. Not not only the music, you know, all the uh, okay. the, the tempo, the tempo, you know. So, so you you hear. <笑>那個達菲要問最後一個問題,拍攝。我我我先跟問一下,我的意思是說,其實每個時代不一樣的tempo,所以我現在看的這個tempo,當然會有一點點little <笑> 它可以fast的一點,但是那個感受就沒有。那我意思,它為什麼有時候會很慢很慢,就是其實everything都是在這個老人的內心深處。這個是最重要。所以很多東西是需要很多nature sound 綠色的東西在這個片子不能拍立所以我的家的顏色讓它藍一點點我記得二十年前我看了一個後消遣的那個<笑><笑><笑> 太慢那是現在我成熟了一點所以說你慢慢的了解我剛剛要想說可能你比較慢慢的了解就像我現在的感觉很大你知道意思因為到了可能我現在來拍片子六十幾歲我拍這個片子都是四十五歲<笑><
20 years ago or now. Uh, the, the only difference probably is um, people probably can't really see um, the costumes, pick up the, 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 uh, the costumes difference. Because um, he wants to show that um, Tower actually got heavy Japanese influence. That's why all the costumes here you can see is very Japanized. And uh, that's the 1950s, 60s, that you can still see the, uh, especially uh, Taiwanese uh, families, they, they got this kind of uh, costume. So. Uh, no, 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 and, and that really just shows, manifested itself. It's culturally very different from the, uh, those mainlanders, from, from, the, from the mainland, of course, uh, the Chinese uh, rulers. Why the KMT government uh, or the rulers couldn't understand why Taiwanese can't be Chinese as them? Why they speak Why the old men always speak, the, speak the Japanese? Yes. That's the culture, that's the, that's the reality. Uh, right. they speak, if they speak a very uh, Standard uh, picking, the, that's ridiculous. Yeah. That, that's what they do in the 1960s, 70s, in the Taiwan film. Everybody speak the picking. Yeah. <laughs> I know there are still quite a lot of questions, but because we. Oh, don't, we, not, I'm not answering. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no, no, just to say, I think, the 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 這個議題,我坦白講, I, I, I don't like the politics,我很黑了,所以我不應該談這麼多政治。He <笑> hates politics, but however, you know, all his films are quite political. 這個片子我記得參加非常多的film festival, 但是 I already talk about the, the cinema, you know, Sanamatic